リコ先輩Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on Sword Art Online Alicization Licorice. My name is s e t s u b a r a s h i and today we are going to be soloing, you know, a few divine beasts. And I'm gonna leave it in the, you know, in, in the video that I, you know, fight three or two of them. I forget how many at this point, you know.、Uh, this video should have w e n t out like three days ago. <laughs> But、uh, the main purpose of this is to show off not only a. Incarnation that will make your troubles go away completely if you're a solo player, and also it will just make everything so much more enjoyable. So, what am I talking about in this video as the you know the divine beast fights go on? The violent flash incarnation it is an incarnation that boosts hazard gauge and you know overall makes it to where they cannot you know get unstaggered. So, if you have the Violent Flash incarnation, highly recommend running it, especially if you're going to go into a Divine Beast or a raid solo. It literally keeps them in place. So, for example, you know the Mantis bosses that can literally hit you with one scythe and you're dead? Well, thanks to Rainy K's method and you know, build of overall running this incarnation, shout out Rainy K, his link will be down in the description below. I'm telling you, you won't get hit at all. I mean, probably once, but that's about it. You run Violent Flash Incarnation, which you can get from the Clamp Cluster in s o r o l Mountains. You run that, and then with your you know, broken build, as always, or you know, any build for that matter, you can have the worst gear still run this incarnation and still kill the thing. Now, the only reason why I would say this is top dirty broken for me. Is because I already have a hazardous you know, crit build on my bow. And it overall, like from the time I'm making this to the point you know, it expired and you know, broke or whatever, I killed two to three Divine Beasts and I killed the Beast Nair Grotto raid like four times with the incarnation on. And before the incarnation, I was having a lot of trouble with the bosses. So, it's very interesting to see how scaling works in this game. It's very different from, I would say, Fatal Bullet in a sense.、Uh, the only incarnation I would say that rivals the Violent Flash is the Beauty Incarnation, which is、uh, what critical damage and burst damage. But that will be another video that I try. But this is strictly on the Violent Flash. Now, As you see here,、uh, whether it be the、uh, Flash Fang, the Ancient Fight, or the, you know, the Sea Creature in the Air Fight, whatever it was, these went by so quick for me. So usually you would, you know, fight a Divine Beast, it takes you roughly 7 to 20 minutes, depending on, you know, How lucky you get with when they spawn, because you know, there is a glitch where you know, they do not spawn whatsoever unless you switch to a, you know, a party member. This has screwed me over so much where you know, the boss will spawn right on top of like Sinon, and I can't get my level 1 chain burst instantly. So, what you want to do is make sure you're spread out pretty far. I know it's kind of hard because you know, the party in total follows each other. But for instance, say on your main Kirito, get to the left, sit on Elizabeth, put them on the right, and you know, overall, just keep on moving yourself, and the boss should spawn. Now, the only other thing I would say about this incarnation it would benefit you on a dual wield build, the bow build, and ooh, it would definitely work on a rapier build if you're using the uh. Sword skill that you know does like a hundred you know hits that would benefit you probably the most. So,、uh, when it comes to whips and、uh, let's see, two handed, I have nothing for that yet, but rest assured, I will be making a build on those later. So, 
if y'all want a separate, you know, guide on what to run on your sword, on your, you know, your weapons and your character, like skills, passives, all that, let me know down in the comments below. And, you know, overall, uh, I think that my build is probably the absolute best you can possibly get. Now, I had some help off of videos, just like y'all are probably wondering. And the builds you do find online are really good. Uh, there's some Discord servers that, you know, work to find builds and, you know, overall do all the research to the game. Uh, shout out King RPG on Twitch. And, you know, pretty good stuff going on in the game. Uh, I wish that the multiplayer, you know, aspect was a little bit more active. Uh, over on Xbox, we don't have much. It's like 20 looking for group posts, and that's it. But uh, I'm going to leave the rest of the gameplay for you guys. If this did help you or, you know, you want to see the, you know, the actual full build, even without the uh, incarnation, please drop so in the comments down below. Make sure to leave a like, you know, to you know show if this interested you or helped you at all. It would be very much appreciated. And have a great day, great night, wherever you are in the world, and peace.